let's uh, just bring you up to speed with how things are looking in terms of this new rail link. Uh, the proposed route of the high-speed rail link itself through Warwickshire set to change after consultations with locals and the company working on the project have now released a report detailing how this route should be amended. Yesterday, we told you the route would move away from villages such as Stonely, Stairton, but then it means it would come closer to Southam and run right the way through the NAC. Let's get up to date then. Here's uh, the latest on the HS2 report. Ladbroke to Southam. We recommend adopting a more easterly alignment, taking the route away from the village of Ladbroke to a position halfway between there and Southam to the northeast. The route would be at ground level, avoiding the floodplain and the need for a lengthy elevated viaduct. Although closer to south of than previously, the surface alignment would have less noise and visual impact than the viaduct. Stonely. The route we recommend towards move the alignment southwest of its currently assumed path between Off Church and the Kenilworth Road. This will take it further away from the Stonely village, but closer to some properties on the eastern edge of Kenilworth and Covington. The revised alignment would reduce the severance of historic parkland at Stonely and avoid passing through the historic hamlet of Stairton. It would involve demolition of a Grade 2 listed building and put another at risk. It would also involve greater lands take to the Stonely Park Exhibition and Conference Centre. We consider the majority of the facility could remain operational, although the impact on the centre would need to be the subject of a more detailed assessment, including the potential provision of exchange land. Burton Green. We considered a more westerly alignment to address the effects upon properties in close proximity at Burton Green. We do not, however, recommend this as it would bring the route closer to properties on the southern edge of the village and significantly closer to properties in Balsall Common. We recommend the route be lowered and covered at the point where it passes through Burton Green in the deep former railway cutting. We heard there about a change suggested for the village of Burton Green. And we've got Jerry Marshall to talk to us about that. Jerry Marshall is from the action group in Burton Green called Keep Burton Green. Jerry, thanks for joining us this morning. Good to be here. And the Sky Blues director, Joe Elliott, is with us as well. He would actually see the line from his house uh, just on the Kenilworth side of Coventry. Morning, Joe. Morning. Uh, Jerry, let's start with you. Um, talk us through how the changes that they've been suggested would affect Burton Green. Well, what they're going to do is to uh, deepen the cutting that exists and stick a roof on it. Uh, change, in fact, will be relatively marginal because there's a lot of noise as trains come into a tunnel and the ventilation shaft will, uh, uh, will also create a kind of sonic boom. But really, the changes are irrelevant because... You know, when we woke up and discovered that this line went through literally our backyard, our reaction was not a kind of knee-jerk, nimby reaction, but to look at the documentation and to see whether it was in the national interest. And what we discovered was shocking, that it, there is no environmental case and no economic case. Now, I'm pleased to say that we've won the environmental case, or at least that the Secretary of State for Environment last week in our area admitted that there was no carbon benefit to, to, to HS2. But the economic case is a complete disaster. The whole thing hinges on a three-and-a-half-fold increase in passenger demand. And if there's just a 20% uh, shortfall in that, then there is no case for it. it. It fails to meet government guidelines. But in fact, there's no reason to believe there will be any significant increase in passenger demand whatsoever, partly because there's been no long distance, uh, in the last 15 years there's been no increase in long distance passenger travel partly because the shift from coaches to trains because of cheaper train fares is likely to reverse as train fares go up and partly because businesses increasingly are using teleconferencing. I mean, yeah. you're, you're obviously clearly arguing against the principle Absolutely. of the thing rather than the fine details. We, we want to stop the whole thing which is why these changes are not actually relevant. But as the, route, as the routes now, now come out in the public domain the proposed route and then the proposed changes for the proposed three, so as we're now talking about isn't it too late to be arguing against the, the principle of the whole no, thing? No, absolutely not. We have a consultation in the spring and uh, we're, we're in consultation with um, uh, government ministers about this and I believe that we're, we're gradually winning. I now think it's more likely than not that they will see sense because it is a massive white elephant. Our aim is to save the government £30 billion of complete wasted money. There are much better ways to improve capacity and improve improve the transport system, which we certainly need, than spending this money on a system that we don't need. 
Isn't there also a danger of, of fiddling really while Rome burns? Because while you're arguing against the principle of the thing, the consultation goes on about the proposed route. If you lose, don't say. Lose the battle against the principle of the whole thing. The route could be signed, sealed, and delivered by the time that happens. Well, you know, it, it's good to have the mitigation things as a fallback, but actually the number one thing, you know, let's stick with what's important. And what's important is this is a waste of money for taxpayers. It will cost everyone uh, the best part of a £1,000, and there will be no benefit. And in fact, in Coventry, the uh, London service will drop from three trains an hour, Virgin Trains an hour, to one an hour. So it'll be a disaster for Coventry. There'll be little regional benefit. Recent work by Imperial College says that, in fact, it will attract more stuff to London rather than benefit the region. So there is really no reason for this. We just need to get it into the government's heads that this really is a big mistake. Okay, Joe Elliott, to Jerry argues against the principle of the whole thing rather than, he says, that, you know, the bigger issue here rather than just the uh, changes to the route, the post changes to the route. Where do you stand on that? Absolutely agree with him. It's a total disaster. Total disaster for the country and also Warwickshire and the counties that it comes to. I mean, this thing is not just a train track. This, is a, this, this track is as wide as a Rico pitch. So it's, a, it's like a runway going right through the country. And it's totally, totally flawed uh, monetary-wise. Uh, environmentally, it's a disaster. Um, we've seen HS1, which run, runs from uh, London to Kent, uh, which cost them £5.7 billion pounds to build, and now they're selling off for £1.5 60% down on demand, it is. 60% yeah. down on There's no demand for it, and I but cannot HS2 believe They must see a demand for it, otherwise they wouldn't be pressing ahead, would they? They must see a business case for it. I don't know where it is. We, we haven't found it yet. No, and I, I can't believe that I'm actually sitting here, listening to your programme this morning, listening to all the spending cuts and cuts that are coming to education, health uh, and, and welfare, and uh, they're talking about this, this railway track that is going to cut minutes off a, off a journey to Birmingham, bypass Coventry, which is not good for the city at all. Uh, this tiddling around with the track, it, it's good for some and bad for others. It doesn't make any difference where it goes. It's going to be a disaster coming right down from London to this area. It really is going to carve the whole area up and be no use at all. If the decision is made in London, no matter how many voices you could argue in Coventry, will that be enough to make the decision makers in London see sense, as you say? Well, the, the whole idea is that, that Coventry, Warwickshire, as far as we're concerned, needs to wake up and realise the effect that this train is going to have. And I mean, if you think you're going to hop on a train and get to London quicker, well, by the time you've got from Coventry to, to, to uh, Birmingham International, then hopped on a connection to the new station, uh, it's not even going to go to the old station at Birmingham International, they're going to build a new one. You, you, it's going to take you a lot longer. My wife and I came back from London uh, the other evening, in f if I take a stop out at Watford, uh, we got back in 49 minutes. Well, you know, that's fantastic. We're, what we're trying to do is encourage people, the point about Coventry and Warwickshire, we're encouraging people to write to their friends in other areas. And uh, I've got a, a sheet which people can ask for on the six myths about HS2. If we can tell, for, uh, tell MPs around the country that this is a complete disaster, which it is, then uh, I think we can save the government a lot of money. You know, HS1 is 60% down on the forecast, Eurostar's 50% down on the forecast, and for some reason the government think that this forecast, trebling uh, to three and a half fold increase in passion demand will uh, will stick it's not okay gents thanks both for uh, joining us thanks we know exactly where you stand on <laughs> in there um, Cheers, thanks for uh, sharing your views it's very much appreciated jerry marshall from the burton green action group called keep burton green and sky blues director joe and it's still both print arguing against the principle of the fact whether we need a high speed rail line they say that they're confident uh, that they can head off the plans at the principal stage without we getting without getting into as joe called it uh, fiddling around with the route